Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. With that being said, let's get, that takes us to this week's Tears Take. Now, this Tears Take is inspired by um, a pod squad member that is pretty much, you know, one of the kings of the pod, uh, Brother Last Call. Uh, he sparked my interest in, a, in one of the chats of one of our video premieres uh, this past week, and he was talking about the Black Seminoles um, of Florida, and he was like, you know, he was reading up on it, and he thought it was pretty interesting. And he was like, y'all should talk about it. So... I have an interesting way I wanted to kind of approach the topic. Um, and my tears take for this week is America has not really advanced since the 1800s. And when I say that, I am talking in reference to its treatment of indigenous and uh, black people. So uh, for those that don't know about the black Seminoles out there in, in the pot squad world, uh, originally, in Florida, uh, Florida was a Spanish colony, obviously, and they were not owned by Britain. So uh, they would have um, kind of conflicts with uh, Britain and British colonies. So there would be South Carolina colonists that would come down and raid areas of Florida um, for resources and, you know, just trying to basically extend the territory of the Americas. Um, so over time, the Spanish government basically was like, all right, we tired of this shit. We need some extra people down there in our colony. So what they did was they opened up a uh, sex of land to uh, or allowed freed blacks, runaway slaves and the native peoples that were getting away from their own tribes for whatever reason to come to these lands and settle um, with the bargain being you would run these missions and through running the missions, you would um, like, you know, like a mission, like the fort type mission, like a religious type mission, not a like you're doing on on the quest. But like they were running, yeah. But they were running the mission, uh, and basically you would de- they would defend the territory for the Spain Spaniards. But basically these people ended up being um, called Seminole. So Seminole is not even an, an original tribe or anything. It's not like there was a tribe called the Seminole Natives before these colonies. Um, the Seminole came from they um, it was a like Cimarron or something like that, which basically was like where we get the word maroon from, or like mixed people. Um, who are kind like of Spanish. Spanish. Right. And it was with the uh, Muscogee Creek uh, natives who ended up having some of their people kind of leave their tribe and go join these uh, settlements. Um, they was calling these people Maroons or like people who leave their their group and left. Them. Them. And over time, yeah. it ended up like Cimarron, Cimarron, because of the dialect difference and the accent difference between the natives and the Spaniards. It, that turned into Seminole. So basically, it was basically a broad term at first that was used to just describe anybody that was leaving their original group and kind of going off to settle outside of that on their own. And then it became the overarching label for these peoples, this mixed group of like native, uh, like exports, um, freed blacks, runaway slaves, um, people coming from the Gullah, the Gullah region of South Carolina, Florida, like that, uh, that, that uh, lowlands area, they were coming mm-hmm. to settle in because it was like, oh, we can have pretty much free land out here. Um, and I'm not, I, I haven't done the full research. Like I, I just started researching this week, but I would almost be willing to say that the settlement rose would probably stems from the fact that we already had that strong presence in Florida when Florida became colonizing uh, became purchased by America. But I, I say all that to say this. Um, I think that this group is a cool like microcosm of like what being black in America is. Like if you think about it, like we're all from different places settled here. Like what's considered black today is not just like people of African slave descent. They like they lump everybody and they, they lump Native Americans that are really dark into that group. They lump, yeah. they lump people from the islands into that group. They lump uh, the Taino people and those like native peoples from like uh, lower Mexico that are darker. Moreno. Yeah. 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 yeah ta- Taino, one of them, uh, some with a T. Is, uh, yeah, is some, some of them call them Taino, some of them call them Moreno. It's like Moreno yeah. is like, uh, that's when they call a browner skinned person. And I think yes. it's something. Them people. It's a, 
Yeah, it's something else for like Blanca, for like white and other. Yeah, all of the dark people though they lump in with us, and and it's like we are basically like now in America, the whole country is pretty much anywhere where you have black people is pretty much a macrocosm of what being a Seminole is. Like we're all Seminoles now. Like we're displaced from our original group. We don't have a direct connection to our original tribes anymore. Like them people got branded as this new term, Seminole, and they became a tribe, but only because the government couldn't figure out what else to call them. And once they called them that, now these people were able to be labeled, placed, and categorized in certain ways that made them more or less susceptible to being having access to the resources of the government and having access to certain you know rights and stuff. So Again, like we we don't have that direct connection. Like them people, the Muscogee Creeks, they ended up now they're Seminole, even though they might have started as Creeks. Now they're Seminole. We might have started as Nigerians or Ethiopians or, you know, whatever. And now we're just black. Um, other blacks from our original tribes have named us something different to reflect our new place. Just like the original Muscogee Creeks and the other Native American original tribes started calling these peoples the Seminoles because they were, they were leaving their tribe and they were no longer with their original group. Now we are black. Now we are like other black people from the world that are from their mm. native black, their native African or whatever countries. They don't see us as a part of them. They consider us as our own separate tribe because we are so different. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And then last but not least, just like the Seminole Indians of Florida, we are used to defend this country in return for freedom. We, we, you know, we pretty much become a tribe of our own mix of na native Africans, Latinx and other minorities who've been displaced. And now all of those group, all of our groups that are considered black are some of the highest uh, groups of the first people that are often on the front lines to defend this country, despite not fully being free, but given that, that um that illusion of being free. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in my opinion, all we've done is enlarge and change the label from Seminole to black, but it is still the same concept that America mm -hmm. and that hasn't changed since the 1800s. So it is my tears take for the week. America ain't changed in 200 and some years. Still the exact same place. Hell uh, yeah. That um remind me, I seen um I think I seen this vid of TI saying um one of the main reasons why we didn't get reparations because the people that already got reparations, they already have a defined like nationality, like Jap Japanese people got reparations for like the concentration champ and all those. But Black is not a actual nationality. It's just a description. It's or whatever, which is is basically the New Age version of Seminole, like you said, or whatever. It's not really. It's just something to put aside, so you can't really put any emphasis to it, or whatever. Like, and how I say, and he was saying that until we actually have like a an actual nationality that we can claim or whatever, then that whole prop, uh, process of reparations can begin and all that stuff. But really, to tell you the truth, that's a, to me, I just feel like that's semantic or whatever. Because mm -hmm. so what? We don't have a nationality or whatever. Um, I'm not going to say the group and whatnot because Whoopi already got hit with that or what whatnot, but that's not really a nationality or whatever. Come on. That that's a religion. Mm -hmm. And they got reparations or whatever. Um I you know Party is I know they got reparations from a country that didn't even commit to the of the country. What was that? You you, you sound far away. I said the crazy part is they got reparations from a country that didn't even commit the original atrocity. Exactly. Exactly. 
we can't get reparations from the country that actually did this shit to us. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe we should try to apply somewhere else. Maybe we should apply reparations in Denmark. And I'm and I'm ready to change the R. I know we ain't gonna ever get reparations. We can't get respect from the country that committed the original crime. Mm-hmm. Because we are similar. So we just gonna have to take it. I, I take it one further. We can't get respect from the new motherfuckers coming into the country. Just because we haven't got respect from the period from the people that brought us here in the first place. Shit. But you know, mm. that leads me to a question, y'all. You're going to um, have to take it. What? Like, how can we ever get respect from any other group? Like, is that even possible? Because take it. if you think about, no, so hear what I'm saying, though. If you think about where respect comes from, right, it usually comes from the person themselves respecting themselves. And how can you respect yourself if you don't know yourself? Like, usually self-respect comes from knowing yourself, which allows you to love yourself, you know what I'm saying, which allows you to then have that respect. So if you if we don't even know who we are as these, quote-unquote, new Seminoles or Black people, how do we get to a place of getting respect from others when we are not in a place to respect ourselves? Well, I, I, I see it as... You respect. You may not have a, a knowledge of your history, but you do have a knowledge of se- a, a current knowledge of self and a, a knowledge of what you were uh, attained to be. Um, so I feel like if there is a certain level of unity and everyone has that common knowledge of self and see, okay, and like did, did everyone be self aware on the same level and see what the whole what us as a whole are doing and where we fucking up and how we can be better. You feel me? And and, and don't see it as an I thing. Everything be a we. But it can't be. I, I don't see that that can ever be with our culture because how systematically we've been for generations been driven apart. But if it was possible for us to have that unity stand together and just see the truth in us and, and have a common knowledge of like where we currently stand and have that same knowledge. I believe we get respect from others, but I like I feel it's so fractured right now and no one knows shit, especially the newer generations. They have a they have the or the Google generation I should say where you don't have to know nothing we could look it up. So you have no knowledge. You, you have no knowledge of where you stand because why why retain the knowledge and have knowledge of when I can just go to the computer and look it up? Nothing's important. You feel me? Like what I want to do is important. Microwave. I think, you feel me? So I mean, like, I feel it's a struggle. And it's our fault. But at the end of the day, like most things with our culture, it will start. So that's something we had had no control over but now that the control of it has been given to us we keep fumbling and we can't we can't catch the ball because we just keep fumbling taking steps backwards taking step forward side to side fumbling the ball fumbling the ball all by trying to all trying to get that touchdown but we can't get that secure hold on it. so i mean like come on now I, I believe i believe this is possible um I take a look at just other cultures that come into our country, and I, and it, on the outside looking in, it look like they they all together. But once you just sit, like if you immerse yourself in a different culture, and just look at how some of them Americanize themselves, and some of them stick to what they know, they fractured too. You feel me? It just looks different. Our our stuff looks uh, is it looks so much worse to us because our business is always in the media. Our mm-hmm. stuff is always put on blast because, once again, we are America. We set the tone. We set the culture. A lot of things in America are based off what we do and the influences we set. So we set that. When people come into the country, it it, it may look one way outside the country, but when you get in, you realize something totally different. Woo, so, boy, you will get a rude awakening. 
I mean, mm. it, it looks one way. And your country. It, you feel me? Just this, just the main reason they say don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge, don't judge a country by its cover either. I mean, we can go a lot further and a lot deeper with this. Um, don't look at a map and judge the size of a country because America ain't as big as most places that it looks bigger than on the map. You feel me? We we can we can go into some we can go into some reasons why Africa don't, it's not as big as it really is on the map, but. We ain't, we ain't gonna do that on this episode. I'm gonna just pass the mic back off, like I, I'll be going. No, that might be a good uh, conversation to have, though. When we talk about the how the <laughs> why why things are shaped the way they are on the map. Oh, uh, because yeah, Marigo made the map. Uh, they he was stupid, and um, he thought Greenland was bigger than Australia, and. Um, because he thought that he could see the whole world from where he was at. My trail and he, and, and he made a dumbass map. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't dumbass. <laughs> dumbass map maker. Making mm-hmm. dumbass maps. This shit. Since we rain, since I'm going off, let's go against the grain, man. 